Hello, welcome to the Osmotic Pressure Egg Experiment. It's presented by Allison Gerber, Ryan Unash, and it's filmed by Jacina Jasmine. First, we're going to go over a little bit of background. So, when you add a solute to some solvent, in this case we're going to be using water as our solvent and corn syrup as our solute, uh, it tends to spread uniformly. However, if you do the same situation but with a semi-permeable membrane and only add solute to one side, it isn't allowed to uh, spread out uniformly. So what it does is if the water or the solvent from one side goes to the side of the solute, increasing the pressure. This is called an osmotic pressure. So osmotic pressure is useful because it's the primary mechanism for a properly functioning kidney. And also, reverse osmosis is used for water filtration. So now we'll start our osmotic pressure egg experiment. So we'll go over some of the supplies that are needed. First, we have to remember safety and put on our gloves and goggles. We're going to be dealing with a weak acid, so the gloves are important because we'll be handling it with our hands, and the goggles are important just in case there's any splashing. Then we'll need one raw egg and one container. And the container has to be big enough to hold the egg. Then we'll need vinegar. Once again, we'll need enough to cover the egg. We'll need food coloring, <laughs> corn syrup. We'll need water and a spoon. So the first step in the osmotic pressure egg experiment is to take your egg, which is a raw egg, and put it into your clear container. Then take some vinegar and pour it over the egg. You want to make sure that there's enough vinegar to cover the egg. So, that's good for now. All right? You can already start to see some bubbles starting to form on the surface. This is because of the uh, interaction with the acid, uh, the vinegar, acetic acid, and the eggshell. The eggshell is mainly composed of calcium carbonate, which is a base. We're doing this step to remove the shell of the egg while leaving intact a semi-permeable membrane on the inside of the egg. So now, if we let the vinegar, the egg sit in the vinegar for 24 hours, most of the shell is already off the egg. However, not all of it is off. So we'll take the egg and rinse it under water. And while she's rinsing the egg off, she's rubbing the excess shell off. And if there's any uh, small, uh, hard pieces left on, gently rub them off to uh, uh, make sure that the shell, is complete, uh, the shell is completely off. But be careful because it can easily break. Yep. So now we'll want to take this egg and put it into a container. And now we're going to start the second step of the experiment. So the corn syrup is mainly composed of uh, sugar and it's suspended in mostly water or dissolved in. So when we add this, this is effectively our solute that we were talking about at the beginning. And the egg is our, uh, the egg has a semi-permeable membrane surrounding it, holding it together. So we're going to add the corn syrup. You don't need to add very much, uh, just enough to cover the egg. And then if we let this sit for at least 24 hours, we can see a significant change in the egg. So here, the egg is very deflated. And also, the corn syrup, you can see, is a lot less viscous. So it's a lot more liquidy. And this is because 
the water from inside the egg went out into the corn syrup. And um, one reason, like the sugar inside the corn syrup didn't go into the egg because it can't penetrate the semi-permeable membrane of the egg. So now we're going to rinse that off to make sure all the corn syrup is off. And then we're going to place it into another container. And we're going to add some water and let it sit overnight one more time. Once again, just fill it up so it covers the egg. And this time, uh, if you want to make the experiment a little bit more fun, you can add some food coloring, and the food coloring will actually go into the egg. Just a couple drops is good. Take your spoon or just uh, mix it around. Right. So now we let that sit for uh, 24 hours. Now we can see that the egg has um, has returned to its regular size again and it's blue. So you can see that the uh, egg is really tense and you can even bounce it a little bit. And you can also see that the uh, food coloring has went inside the egg. Here we can use another egg since our first egg popped trying to do this part. Uh, this one's not colored, but it's uh, at the same stage of the experiment, and we can see that there's an osmotic pressure formed just by poking it, and you can see that the water is squirting out because there's a higher pressure inside of the egg.